The show is called The Gods of Comedy, and it's written by, well, the king of comedy. Ken Ludwig's latest play is debuting at McCarter Theater, which combines ancient Greece mythos with timeless humor. We're here in Princeton to talk to the master of farce himself. Ken, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. What is Gods of Comedy about? Gods of Comedy is about a young woman who's a classics professor at a liberal arts college, and she gets herself into such a pickle. She's losing the man she loves. She has lost a very famous Greek artifact, and she's in such distress that she says, oh, save me, gods of ancient Greece, and the two gods of comedy, Dionysus and Thalia, come from Mount Olympus to help her. How did this story come to you? I've always loved the classics. I've always loved classic literature, and one of the things I'd started thinking about is how much the stage is a place where we can do magic and do it better than we can do it on film. When you're on a stage, if someone says, I am invisible, and they're suddenly invisible and they snap their fingers, people walk right past them and they treat them as if they're invisible. And that's a wonderful way to do magic on stage, and that you can't do it anywhere else the same way. So much more imagination. It's all in your head. Absolutely. You've had such a long career in playwriting. I can't imagine that comedy is an easy thing to keep up with. <laughs> Edmund Keen said, dying is easy, comedy is hard. And there's a lot of truth to it. It is hard to, to get a comedy just right. And look, as you write something in the confines of your own study, you think it works, and you think that may hopefully the comic lines will hit the bullseye each time. But of course, when you get an audience in front of you, you find out that certain things work and certain things don't. Plays are not written, they are rewritten. And that's always true. When you were starting out in playwriting, where did your comedy inspiration come from? My comedy inspiration always came from the wonderful plays that I read. I was always a bookish kind of guy. And I realized early on, this guy Shakespeare is a god. There's nothing like the four great comedies. And then you get to Mortals, and you get to Goldsmith, She Stoops to Conquer, The Rivals by Sheridan, Wild Oats by John O'Keefe. And as I'd read these great classics of comedy, I'd go, oh, that's where my heart is. I love this form, it's what I wanted to do. Where you are today as a creative, where do you find your comedy inspiration now? Comedy is based on certain tropes and themes that never change. The parent who doesn't want the child to marry the person they love. Confusion, mistaken identity, these are the wellsprings of comedy and I always go back to that basic root to look for comedy. What do you think is at the essence of funny? I think the essence of funny is that moment where you see yourself in a way that you never saw before and you go oh my god that's true that really is me the truth the truth yeah yeah this is your fourth world premiere at McCarter it is what keeps you coming back a great playhouse is made out of two things genius and it's made out of love and McCarter has both those things McCarter supports playwrights like no one else does and they do it out of love what kind of a night am I in for when I come to see this show when you come to this show you are in for I hope a lot of comedy, a lot of truth, and the joy of seeing a society where all those jigsaw puzzle pieces at the beginning of the play get thrown up in the air and you think they can never be solved and then finally at the end they lock back together and we have a sense of peace and justice and rightness that makes us go home saying there's something to live for. 